So today we're going to be working on the combiner boxes. So I'm reusing the old ones. These are seven years old that I had for the roof mount system. Reusing everything. So I got two of them. I got to bring the wire up, split it off into the two boxes. And then we have to get in here and replace. I had three of the 300s in here because I had three circuits with four panels each. And now I'm going to four circuits with three panels each. So those are the 150s. Got to get the 150s in here. And it uses a different, you know, different plate. So we'll swap that out and put the grommets. That's how. So basically, this is the power to the power wall. That's the combined. But the strings come in through here. So anyway, I got to get this all hooked up and then mounted to the post over on the array. So let's get started. at 85 feet. All right, guys, I got these combiner boxes built up, put them on a pressure treated plywood that I painted, did all the plumbing, and I went ahead and pulled this number eight wire through. This is the combined that goes into the power wall. So two circuits, one for each box. So next I'm gonna populate this with the breakers. it will be four breakers in each one. And I can wire in all this um, combined wire for both of them. And then I think I'll wait on doing the power wall. And maybe since it's going to be dark soon, I'll go ahead and wire in all this stuff while there's no power on it. So let's get started. All right, so I got both of the combiner boxes wired up. DC positive, DC negative, and ground. Um, the surge protector and the breakers are all set to go. Both of them are ready. The combined output goes down into the one and a quarter conduit. It's buried about two to two and a half feet deep. And runs up through here next to the other stuff. And comes in here. Goes into the wall and goes into the power wall. Okay, so I pulled the wires up through the wall into here, into the uh, wireways. Here they are, two sets, combiner boxes, one, two. So the wires come over, the ground and the DC negative go directly into the combiner box. The DC positive will run down here into a breaker and then the other side of the breaker goes to the combiner box. So we'll do that for both of them. Get started. Okay, so we're all set. I'm gonna leave the covers off for now. Um, we got the DC negative, the ground, ground, DC negative, and DC positive, DC positive. All right. Okay, so next up, I gotta wire up all the panels. Now I've already got them all strung together. There are eight sets of three. Really, there's four sets of three and four sets of three on each combiner. So you can see kind of how they're tied up here. One, two, three. I used all the old wires from the roof mount, and I think that's all going to work out. So let's get this stuff all back to the boxes. Bring all the wires in. There'll be four, 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 and four, 16 wires that go to the ground and the breakers, the ground and the breakers, All right? Four, 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 four. So my combiner boxes, notice this one's fully populated. I only have two on here and that's because I ran out of wire. I had everything I needed. I just scrimp and had just enough rails, just enough bolts, just enough everything to get this done, except for the wire. And that's because I switched from uh, three circuits in parallel to four circuits in parallel. So anyways, uh, let's see what we got on here. Okay, so I've got voltage on all of my circuits. 
So I'm going to go ahead and switch those on. Notice that guy comes on. Boom, 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 boom. That should bring power up to my power wall. Look at that. So far, so good. All right, so that power comes into, this is combiner box one and two, and this is the other ground mount. So we're going to measure what we got coming in. 127, 127. All right, so we got power coming in from our array. That's good. Next, let's fire up the batteries.